This is a related rates problem about water being poured in a cone. So let's start by drawing a picture. We have a cone. And our cone, we know some basic information about it. The height of the cone is 8 centimeters. and we know that the radius of the cone is three centimeters and we're interested in how the water that's in it is changing and in particular we're interested how fast the water is changing when it is four centimeters full so we have our cone now is at this height of four centimeters. Okay, well for a related rates problem we are interested in identifying our variables. So let's identify our variables first. When considering the water, there are three basic measurements we can consider. We could have our total volume, we have the height of our water, and there's the radius at the top of the cup. So the radius of the water. So let's uh, go identify each of these. We'll color them in red. So my radius is the distance from the center of the cone to the edge of the water. The height is the height of the water from the cup, and the volume is the volume of water that's in a cup. So we have these three uh, quantities describing our water, and they are related by geometry with an equation that the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. The second thing we want to consider is what type of information are we given. So as we read the directions we can see that we're given an information something's 50 centimeters cubed per second and as I think about what that might measure centimeters cubed is a volume per second tells me I have a rate. And so this is a rate of change of volume. Now I'm pouring water in, and so this is a positive rate of change. The rate of change of volume is given by 50 cubic centimeters per second. As we continue to read the problem, we, we find the information about our cup itself. We've already written that down. And we, need, we see how fast is the water rising. And we ask ourselves, what kind of question is that? And that represents a measurement of a rate of change of height. And so that's the, that's the question that's unknown. So the height rate of change is what is unknown. And finally, we end by saying that the cup is four centimeters full, which is information about the height of our cup. So we get that the height of our cup, h, equals four centimeters, is some given information. Now the chain rule gives us a relationship between rates of change. It tells us that the rate of change of volume is equal to the derivative of volume with respect to height times the derivative of height with respect of time. And so if I could find the rate of change of volume with respect to height, I, I would be able to solve this using simply my chain rule. If I look at the formula for volume though, it actually has two variables, the radius and the height. So my goal is I need to find one equation that relates volume in terms of height. And the way that I do that is I need to think about how the radius and the height are related. This will require finding another equation. The equation is going to be based on similar triangles. If I look at my cone, I have two similar triangles. I have the triangle formed by the entire cup, and I have a triangle formed by the smaller volume of water, which I've labeled below. I have the full cup, which has a radius of 3 and a height of 8, 
and the volume of water, which has a radius of r and a height of h. I want to emphasize I am not using the number for my height. I use the variable to get my equation. Similar triangles tell us that ratios are equal. So the ratio of height 8 is to 3 is the same as the height of the small triangle h is to r. And so if I cross multiply I get 8 radiuses equals 3 times the height. And I want to find a way of getting my volume in terms of just the height so I'm going to solve for r my radius is 3 eighths of my height. And I'll use that substitution in my volume formula so that I get my volume is 1 3rd pi times 3 eighths the height, that's the radius, which is squared times the height. So this gives me my formula for volume in terms of height only. My volume is, what do I get? I get pi times 9, so I get 9 pi h cubed over 3 times 64. I'm just write it as 3 times 64 because I see I'm going to cancel. And so I get 3 pi h cubed over 64. And that's the volume in terms of height. So that I can now use the rate of change formula. The rate of change of volume with respect to time is the rate of change of my formula, 3 pi h cubed, let's do 3 pi over 64 h cubed, and by the chain rule I get 3 pi over 64 times 3 h squared times the derivative of height with respect to time. And now I have it in terms of, I have an equation for my my various values. So we can now substitute our, our values that we know. My rate of change of volume is 50, 3 pi over 64, my times 3, my height is 4, so I get 4 squared, times the rate of change of height, which is the unknown, dh dt. So let's see what simplifies. Um, 4 squared is 16, so that cancels and leaves a 4, and so I get, see I can divide, and I get the dh dt, let's change color accidentally, dh dt is 50 times 4, divided by 9 pi. So that's uh, 200 over 9 pi. And that is a rate of change in height. So that is centimeters per second.